Good afternoon, this is Gavriel Jackton, and welcome to BJC Allah day number 1259. Allah day keeps the eights our way. We're continuing the laws of interest. We're now in the rabbinical laws regarding this subject. Very tricky halacha. Here we go. One who lends money for a mortgage, whether it be a house, a field, or a place in the synagogue, and the lender receives the benefits from the mortgage, this must be done by deduction. Now, let's see what that means a little more in the footnotes. I, while the loan is outstanding, the lender retains the right to make use of the mortgage property. So that's how he's benefiting from it. So he must. this must be done by deduction. That is, he, the lender, must deduct the set amount per year from the loan, which is then considered the rental that the lender is paying. Again, a footnote. If the lender will pay no rent, then he will be gaining from this loan because aside from the repayment of the loan, he also gained the free use of the mortgage property. Even if the actual rental value is greater than what they agreed to, nevertheless, this is permitted. Again, another footnote, because it is not uncommon to get a lower rental even when no loan is involved. Final stretch. However, the lender may not turn around and rent the property to the borrower himself, says the footnote, because the end result is that the lender gains the rental fee in addition to the repayment of the loan. Concerning mortgages, there are many additional laws and therefore nothing should be done concerning mortgages unless a rabbinic authority is consulted. And now it's your lacha. Thanks for listening to Sponsor Feature Lacha. 3600 of the gold. Have a wonderful Shabbos. And we'll see you tomorrow night.